the one, two to Lorenzo and he swings through a changeup from Evan Lumbert. The Panthers able to push a run across unearned. He's on the year. He's going. And he is out. Impressive job from Levine to gun down Shenton. As Lumber comes back with that slider on the outside corner, get Eddie Silva to chase. A little bit of a shift by FIU outfielders in center and right, playing him the other way. As Levine gets into this one, takes a fastball, goes off the light tower, out in left field. Spencer Levine taking full advantage of the start tonight. A no-doubter to left field for his fourth home run of the season. Using his hands to react on that fastball in and just punishing it as Mark Coffer sends this to right field and he's got himself a hit. He's thinking two out of the box, running hard. He's in there with a double. It's anyone. And you see right there, loops this curveball into left field and they're gonna wave him around and he's gonna score. 12 strikeouts. And a fastball by him, strike three. He was looking for the curveball and Lumber came with the fastball. Lumber in a battle with Fernandez. Rolls this one to the shortstop. Profit up with it, flips to Smith and over to Elijah Eusebios. Eusebio seeing increased action after an injury to center fielder Gage Mori as he lifts this one down the left field line. Not gonna get there is Lorenzo Hampton. And Elijah Eusebio with the 3-1 count. As he ropes this ball down the left field line. 3-1, gets the fastball. Christian Prophet did not miss it, and he extends the Eagles' lead. As he laces this one up the middle, it is knocked down by Eric Gonzalez for FIU. First pitch swinging, it's off Herring's glove. But over to recover is Eric Gonzalez. And FGCU holds on versus FIU to sweep the Panthers, winning both contests this season.